My name is Allison Simmons and I'm a rising junior at East Carolina University. I work under Dr. Elizabeth Abels at the Science and Technology Building where we study Drosophila melanogaster or the fruit fly as our model organism. We study how stem cells are affected by steroid hormones. Previous studies have showed that estrogen and testosterone are important signaling molecules for the human body. Many tissues in the body are maintained by stem cells that may be replaced due to injury or tissue remodeling. What is unknown is how these steroid hormones impact stem cell function, which is a fundamental question in developmental biology. We call this room the fly room. We keep fly socks that may be used and I can be seen performing different experiments here. As a part of the Abel's lab, my research uses the fruit fly ovaries to study how steroid hormone stem cells function. Their ovaries are a major source of the steroid hormonic disone in adults. The ovaries are made from our previous population of cells called germline stem cells. From our lab's research, we know that a disone is important for stem cells timing regulation and maintaining the stem cells population as the flies age. My project aims to answer how the transcriptional target of ecdysone, called E75, controls the stem cells in response to ecdysone. To answer this question, we can manipulate E75's function through its germline-specific overexpression or RNAi knockdown. When in lab, I can be seen using immunofluorescence to visualize the germline stem cells. I dissect the ovaries from the females and stain them so any phenotypes can be seen under the confocal microscope. For my project, I hope to see stem cell-like tumors, but also might see ovaries that are overall tiny because they have failed to make oocytes. In lab, I can also be seen counting eggs that have been laid by the female flies to measure fertility. Using these techniques can tell me if I have any impact on oocyte development. My experience in the lab and in the Choose Development Program have been wonderful. It has given me a chance to get connected with like-minded individuals with a strong interest in developmental biology. I am excited to develop more of my laboratory skills and meet everyone at next year's conference.